Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update as KB5065789 because of this error. We could not complete the install because an update service was shutting down. So if you're receiving this error, to fix it, the first step is to start these services. Now for this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now, first of all, find Windows update, scroll down. Here you can see Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK, make a right click on Windows update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, again set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now with this selected, make a right click and click on restart. Now find app readiness at the top here you can see app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now try to install the update and then check still not working run these two command type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and run command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. The command is provided in the video description. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Now this scan will take some time. And once the scan is 100% complete over here, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can try to update. Still not working. The next step is to pause and restart the update. Now you, for this, you can go to Windows Update in Windows Settings and then here you can see pause. If you see retry option, hit retry and then check. You can pause the update and once it is paused, now hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB506. 5789 and then click on search and over here type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER and check if you have version 25H2 or 24H2. So in my case it's 25H2. Now go to Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. Scroll down, uh, sorry. Over here you can see system type. For me it's 64 bit operating system. So for me it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system. If you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 then this is the right one for you. For me this is the right one. And then click on download. Now over here click on KB5065789 and then once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. So click on it and follow the on-screen instruction. This process will take some time and once you install it, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update. Go to Advanced option. Scroll down, click on Recovery option. Here you can see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once the reinstall is done, now restart your computer and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. Scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, you will see this screen. Uh, you have to click on accept over here. And by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. And then select ISO file over here. And then click on next. And then you can save it to desktop. Save. And then let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, click on finish over here. Now, once you click on finish, it will close automatically. Do not close this manually. It will take few seconds to close. Once closed, Go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click on setup file, run the setup file, click on yes to allow, click on next, click on accept 
and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel